Your delegate, I'm Megum Gim from Seoul National University Hospital. I deeply appreciate the organizing committee for kind invitation. I hope this virtual presentation contributes to your session interesting and India OF Symposium will be successful. And I wish we all together get through this COVID disaster. Today, I'm going to talk about the corneal regeneration in dry eye disease following a refractive surgeries. Main topics are as follows. The wide, a wide epidemiology is 15 to 30% uh, of DED prevalence. And I just told, I was just told that in Northern uh, part of India, the prevalence is up to 30%. Uh, Usually, DED following refractive surgery is transient. However, about 20% of can become chronic DED. The first definition of DED is tearing disorder with ocular surface damage. The uh, revised definition is uh, similar, but it has newly included a uh, neurosensory uh, abnormality and inflammation. Most of the time of DED lies somewhere between the aqueous deficient and the evaporative. Among the risk factors of DED, corneal refractive surgery is getting popular around the world, and post refractive DED is one of the common causes. Given the cornea is highly innervated tissue and the tight junction of the epithelial cells is utmost important as a barrier function, the cornea or refractive surgery inevitably disturbs the homeostasis of nerve and epithelial cells. The core mechanism of dry eye means at any risk factors decreasing the atmosphere stability causes a vicious cycle between uh, the reduced stability and the epithelial damage through the ocular surface inflammation. As you know, uh, the erasic uh, uh, directly uh, disrupt the corneal lobes. The suctioning procedure damages the conjunctival goblet cells and also the operate shape change per se disturb the tear film stability. Decrease the sensitivity, reduce the blink rate, resulting in um, the meibomian secretion decreasing and uh, increasing the uh, evaporation. Nerve damage uh, directly reduce the uh, tear secretion. They all together end up with ocular surface damage, uh, uh, making this superficial punctate keratitis and uh, vision worsening. How epithelial cells are damaged in a dry eye disease for refractive surgery? The function of hyaluronan is important here. The hyaluronan is important matrix for stromal frame, as well as intercellular uh, space lubricant between the epithelial cells, and also the promoter for only healing as a provisional matrix for a basement membrane. Epithelial cell can make a small amount of hyaluronan. However, most of hyaluronan is synthesized by a stromal keratocyte. When we do LASIK, a LASIK smile, stromal keratocyte tie in ablating zone and periphery near the reticule, which is removed in smile. Therefore, the hyaluronan synthesis decreases and it affects both wound healing and dry eye. Decreased ECM, including hyaluronan in tercellular space, contribute to friction and rigidity between the cells, decreasing the transepithelial pressure dissipation against gravity and against the rid friction. Also, decreasing the intercellular shear uh, because of uh, reduced elasticity. It induced the cell stress and inflammation, leading a vicious cycle of DED. 
as well, foreign factors are added to aggravate DED and abnormal on the healing. Novel producing cytokines such as nerve growth factor and substance P, which is very important for epithelial cell su survival and homeostasis, is also in decreasing. With the stroma uh, apoptosis, the epithelial stroma uh, fibroblast interaction is also decreasing with a uh, reduction of adhesion molecules and tight junction molecules and cell survival uh, cytokines. In addition, the eye drops such as a steroid induce the epithelial thinning and preservative in eye drop can also disrupt the transcellular mucin layer. Here you can see the fibroblast condition media enhance epithelial cell migration, which is greater than with uh, substance P containing media and the control. That means stromal apoptosis and novo apoptosis are key factors in the pathogenesis of dry eye disease and delay uh, epithelial regeneration uh, in uh, post refractive surgery along with the secondary effect such as rest blinking, movement gland dysfunction, and reduced tear secretion. This cross-sectional study shows corneal nerve damage following refractive surgery is long-lasting. Smile had better no, a better nerve preservation and regeneration than lazy, but neither procedure had recovered the nerve density back to normal, even at 5.5 .5 years. Whereas the morphology regeneration of the basal corneal nerve started shortly after PRK ablation and was substantially completed within the 30 days later. In contrast to lazy, the prospective longitudinal study showed nerve density back to preoperative level uh, within two years after PRK. We assembly of a basement membrane and adhesion molecules are rapidly restored in PRK. In vivo, a uh, confocal microscopy revealed the epithelial morphology, the subbasal and nerve fiber morphology and density, as well as the stromal keratocyte density are very stable up to uh, 25 years, 20 years of follow up in PRK patient, which means uh, uh, PRK rapidly restored the uh, uh, nerve and stromal cells and very stable uh, uh, to the uh, uh, of 20 years. It also corresponds with the recent meta-analysis data with 14 randomized control studies showing significant reduction of a tier of VUT in lazy and a significant reduction of a, a tear secretion in lazy than in smile and PRK, suggesting less damage uh, of now. Taken all together, nerve regeneration, stromal cell uh, repopulation with uh, ECM restoration, including here uronan and odigen complex, and tear homeostasis uh, restabilization with uh, growth promoting cytokines, or affect epithelial cell migration, proliferation, and deforestation after refractive surgery. One study revealed both NGF and omega-3 fatty acid promoted nerve regeneration, ADX following a PRK in animal study. We know we don't have uh, uh, the commercially available neuro uh, growth factor, but sometimes the autorose serum have a novel growth factor. So if you think uh, the healing is delayed and you, we can apply the autorose serum uh, based on this data. To improve a dry eye outcome in post-refractive surgery, I know some of the drugs uh, is not available in India, but uh, for the uh, scope to improve a dry eye outcome in post-refractive surgery, I uh, uh, mentioned all of these uh, drugs. Uh, tear supplement with 0.1 to 0.3 here, uronic acid, 
which I prefer. And the carfosal is kind of a purine p 2 y 2 receptor agonist. Uh, it, that stimulates what in mucin, sometimes rebopimin. This is a, a mucin replacement drug, yeah. But this one is necessary. And if we combine the anti-inflammatory drug, uh, it's not available right now in India, but maybe in future you can have it. Zacosporin revealed better refractive outcome. And uh, uh, breaking exercise is very important. I already mentioned it. Uh, we have reduced the blinking rate, which uh, results in the, the secretion of uh, mavomian gland uh, secretion is decreasing. So uh, encouraging blinking exercise uh, helpful to uh, restore the MGD management. And in severe cases of dry eye, you can apply the contact flow and autologous serum, which contains no growth factor. And omega-3 fatty acid may be beneficial uh, to reduce inflammation and to enhance nerve regeneration. Actually, in my real practice, I use the uh, preservative for here, uronan, decarfosal, cyclosporin, and blinking exercise uh, for the post-refractive surgery dry, dry eye. Just switching gear, they're about the diagnostic parameters. But they are very recently advanced with the technological development. I think this is a, um, a mostly covered with a uh, talk uh, by the previous speaker. So I'm gonna skip a lot of part. I'm gonna just uh, keep focusing on the uh, staining. Uh, Using uh, the corneal topography system and keratometry and interferometry, non invasive OBUT uh, is available and with a comparable sensitivity and specificity to conventional uh, proliferation uh, BUT. To evaluate the epithelial regeneration, staining a pattern measurement is very important. The location and the severity of a superficial punctate epithelial defect, which only involves its superficial and sometimes wing cell layers depend on disease. So in post-refractive dry eye disease, combined with the neurotrophic portion and poor blinking, the interpalpebral and or the inferior uh, part of a uh, superior punctate character, a common issue. The staining area is different depending on which dye you use. Fluorescent stain uh, cell deficient site, whereas rose bengal stained cells that are not covered with mucins, regarded this of uh, normal degenerative and dead cells. Some green stains degenerative and dead cells and cell deficient site. For Corneal staining, I usually prefer the fluorescein, and for the conjunctival staining, I prefer the lysamin green. Here, I think uh, the first speaker uh, talk about uh, in detail. Uh, the NUA grading and Oxford scale are commonly uh, used in Korea. And I prefer this one because uh, it is scored one to 15. So uh, we have very narrow uh, scale of uh, uh, data to uh, examine and to measure the uh, patient uh, with the details. So, <clears throat> Uh, here I summarize again because it's very important and I think uh, the here uronan is the first choice and if you have it then uh, your stimulant and uh, the anti-inflammatory drugs is uh, a second choice and, and uh, blinking exercise is important and it, it is very easy one so I think uh, uh, you can uh, always uh, encourage the patient uh, with the uh, blinking exercise. Uh, to talk about the Hydra, uh, I'm going to give some of the uh, brief introduction of uh, the effect of uh, here, Uh I know 
in India, uh, you don't have any combined drug, but I don't want to uh, emphasize the combination. Uh, this slide is for the effect of here urine, but not much, not much data of literature uh, so far of uh, here urine alone uh, uh, application. That's why I choose this one to uh, 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 look at the uh, high uh, urinary effect. You combine it with the uh, CMC, uh, it yeah, improved the visual acuity and it increased the tear secretion. Uh, then compared with the CMC alone, it means uh, here urinary have some effect on uh, improvement of dry eye. Uh, this uh, another randomized control study. Also, they combined with uh, here uronan and decoffacer, uh, and this combination also uh, improved the symptom of dryness as well as the uh, visual acuity improvement. So I think uh, the here uronan have some effect of uh, uh, <coughs> the tear secretion and and the visual uh, improvement. Well, here Euronan um, has uh, the anti-inflammatory properties, like uh, here Euronan uh, binding CD44 activation is correlated with the uh, superior suppress activity. And here Euronan, uh, uh, this is a receptor for here Euronan. CD44 also limits polymorphonuclear uh, nucleoside infiltration. So here urona has anti-inflammatory activity and here urona also holds the water and acts as a lubricant. So not only dry eye, but also the osteoarthritis, the inflammatory uh, disease, and also dermatology. Here urona is widely applied. This in vitro efficacy study also showed the water retention with 0.1. Here, urona was significantly higher than CMC or HPMC all the time. And the survival rate of human corneal abscesses was significantly higher and most times with 0.1 here, urona than uh, CMC and HPMC. Uh, recent meta-analysis uh, data using seven randomized control study, including about 900 eyes of dry eye disease, showed here uronan and demonstrated improvement of tear secretion here compared to non here uronan preparations. But there is no uh, difference about TBUT between the groups. Um, but I know the single uh, animal study or the just a uh, homogeneous uh, group uh, study shows the uh, T beauty increasion when you use the here uronan. And uh, this meta-analysis uh, includes a different group of uh, uh, study and uh, this, uh, the patients are not homogeneous, very heterogeneous. So sometimes uh, that affects the data. So I think the about the TBUT, the further investigation should be uh, uh, warranted. And uh, I heard the 0.1 sodium uh, here uronate named uh, Hydra is new launched in India. Congratulations. Uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit uh, uh, more uh, specific uh, uh, and about the Hydra. Uh, purified sodium hyaluronate oxalic solution is indicated for the dry eye uh, due to environmental condition. It's, it's extracted from rooster cluster and long chain and branched glycan and has intermediate molecular weight. pH is 6 to 7, isosmotic and include C12 bar. 0.0015. Unlike the conventional artificial tears, here urinate not only holds up the water and promotes the epithelium on the healing. I already told you uh, before about the mechanism. 
When the epithelial cells are defected, the first fibronectin expresses in deficient site, cell extended in the horizontal direction of fibronectin, and extended cell proliferate and differentiate in a vertical direction. Here, uronan is a provisional ingredient of basement membrane. So, and also intercellular space lubricant between the cells. So after here, uronan is traction, binding with the fibronectin increase, and cell extend earlier than spontaneous recovery because reducing intercellular friction means less inflammation and less stress. Also, hydride binds to mucin, which restores the tear film stability, decreasing evaporation. About the TBUT, I told you meta-analysis did not show any difference, but I think uh, this single study also showed the uh, uh, effect, so yeah, we should further investigate. Hydride delivered to aqueous layer with intermediate molecular weight, 600 to 1,000 kilodactron, which are most appropriate for oxalic uh, uh, topical drugs. Each gram of higher uronate is able to hold up to 6,000 times its weight of uh, water molecules. Uh, this animal study investigated by Dr. Yoon in Korea also supported the 0.1 to 0.3 here uronan application increased terpilim and decreased the uh, ocular staining in those dependent manner. Actually, I have a lot of clinical data, but uh, I was uh, uh, told uh, the, the next speaker uh, will uh, tell about the clinical study, so I skipped all of the clinical uh, 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 study about the point one here, urine and data. But I think uh, I should mention the preservative because uh, the hydra includes 0.0015% C12 bar. Here uh, is the, uh, the data uh, scanning electron microscopic uh, photographs compare the uh, different uh, the bar uh, mic <coughs> ingredient. This one is the uh, C12 bar and this one mixture, bar mixture, and this is a C14. Compare with these two, yeah, you see the exfoliative uh, material can be seen in, in, in the epithelial cells. Uh, here, this C14, C12 bar uh, does, did not show any uh, ocular uh, epithelial toxicities. And also, ocular uh, toxicity of C12 bar was not uh, seen up to uh, 39 weeks when it applied to the uh, levit corneal surface, which means uh, the, uh, the hydra, including the 0.0015 C12 bar, can be applied without ocular toxicity at least nine months. Final question is the how long we should apply hydronan, hydronan for DED following refractive surgery. That depends on how long the corneal stroma remodeling lasts after ablation using excimo. This study presented by a day 180, stroma sickness was almost completely restored. The stroma cell population occurred below the ablation interface by then. You can see the collagen and the stromal nucleus uh, keratocyte. Uh, stromal keratocyte nucleus were normalized by six months, uh, and the hypothalamus muscle actin and fibronectin. This is uh, a provisional molecules for uh, stromal window healing. Disappears uh, by six months, which means stromal window model was completed by six months. And it also means epithelial stroma interaction is restored within six months with adhesion complex ECM back to normal. And through that, we can think uh, we should apply the here uronan at least for six months uh, uh, until the completion of stroma when hearing. 
Here is one of my cases, 26 years old female who underwent LASIK in local clinic. Uh, one month later, dry eye disease and uh, superficial punctate cataplasm developed. So she was referred to me. And actually in Korea, we have uh, a preservative free hair urinal. So I applied the preservative free 0.1 hair urinal uh, every two hours for six months. And you can see SPK disappeared by then. So wrapping up a uh, key point in post-refractive surgery, DED is very common uh, side effect of refractive surgery and sometimes becoming chronic by 20%. Key concept of corneal epithelial damage and dry eye disease following refractive surgery is the nerve and stromal catocyte damage. This is first one and they accompanied by the ECM decrease and a shape change also contribute to the abnormal on the hearing and dry eye disease. Delayed uh, nerve regeneration and uh, DED is largest in LASIK and less in SMILE, at least in PRK. To improve visual and dry eye outcome, we can apply hyaluronic acid to promote on hearing and tear retention. Uh, if uh, later, uh, if it is available, you can uh, combine with anti-inflammatory drops and tear stimulant and omega-3 fatty acid. The blinking exercise I, I definitely recommend uh, is very uh, simple one. And you should apply uh, the hair uronan at least six months, three months uh, until the completion of stroma on hearing. Thank you very much for your attention.